The pixel loader extension from 33 sticks allows you to quickly build and deploy marketing pixels within Adobe Launch. Uh, to access the extension, you can view the extension catalog. I've already installed it, but you would see it listed here um, with the 33 sticks logo pixel loader. Once you've got that installed, there's no configuration necessary at the extension level. All the configuration is done at the rule level. So let's take a quick use case to see how this works. Often when you're working with agencies, they'll send you a text file similar to this saying, hey, can we get this tag deployed? And for this example, we're going to deploy it to every page on our site. So we're going to take this example where we have a few um, values that need to be updated dynamically, and we're going to quickly build that using the pixel loader extension. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a rule and I've already started to build out a rule called pixels all pages. So we will go into that rule and we will set this to fire on all pages. Um, we're going to use the core extension and we're going to choose to fire this at the bottom of the page. And we'll keep those changes. And then we're going to add an action and the action is going to define our pixel. So we're going to choose the pixel loader extension and the action type will be load pixel and you can change the name if you want and then here we're going to put in our host so I'm going to simply copy and paste this out of the request from our marketing agency uh, as well as the path and you can see that next to these we have the data element selector so um, it may be um, easy to set up some uh, data elements for vendors that you work with um, a lot and that way you have it in as a as a data element you can simply put in there but we'll just hard code those values for this example we're going to add in the delimiter type so if we go back to our example we can see that all of the parameters here are using the semicolon as the delimiter so we'll go ahead and choose that and then if this is a query parameter or a URL parameter, for double click, uh, the parameters are within the URL itself. And now we're going to simply build out the parameters. So we have, a, we have a few different parameters. We have type, and this is a hard-coded value of all pages. We have another parameter called category, and it has a hard-coded value of demo. And now we have two dynamic values that we want to pass in. We want to pass in a page name. So as we browse the site, we want to pass in the friendly name of each page. And for that, we're going to use a data element. And I'll choose my page name data element. And now that will dynamically update as I browse the site. And then our other dynamic element is the ORD parameter, which is a random number. And we've set up a data element um, that generates a random number that I will select. And you can see down here that as I'm selecting these values, it's building out the output for this pixel. And that's really all there is to it. I can go ahead and keep this change and publish my changes. And now this rule will fire on every page and it will dynamically fire my double click pixel, passing in both the hard coded values and the dynamic values as vis visitors browse your site. If you have any questions on how this works or you have any requests for updates uh, or enhancements to the pixel loader extension, uh, reach out to us, uh, 33sticks on Twitter or 33sticks.com, and we'll be happy to help out.